this Mass, we hear about the spread of good news about Jesus Christ. God wants us all people to be saved. Jesus sent his apostles to preach to all nations for 2,000 years. The message has been passed on. Now it is up to us to treasure this message and pass it on to future generations. We celebrate this good news at the Eucharist. Let us pray that those who did not yet know God may hear the good news. Our opening song is Walk by Faith, 497, 497. So you come on you and you walk with you and sit where you are found. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin our prayer, we ask for God's mercy and God's brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your Son, the Good Shepherd, leads us to green pastures, brings us to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. 
And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch for a whole year. They met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Our response is, all you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountain, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said to you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who was established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. They shall know, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in festive dance, My home was within you. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered, gathered around him and said to him, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep Hear my voice. I know them and they know me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus said, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. They know my voice. I don't know if you've seen the picture up here. It's a picture of Jesus tending to a flock of sheep. When I was um, your age, we lived on a farm, and behind our house was an orchard as large as the church. And in the orchard, we had cherry trees, peach trees, pears, four or 
five different apples. And in those days, we didn't have a lawnmower or a, something to cut the grass except this old-fashioned thing. So in the orchard, my dad kept sheep, and I had to water them, but that's about it. They wouldn't come to me. Yesterday, I watched a, a YouTube where a bunch of college kids went to a farm, and there were all these sheep eating. And the point was that he was, they were to call them to see if the sheep would listen. They came up and they called all kinds of bad. They did nothing. They didn't even raise, they kept eating. And then the farmer went over and just called once. And they began bringing up their heads. And pretty soon they came to him. That's the image that Jesus is trying to portray. We've got to know who he is. We've got to know what his voice sounds like. Jacob and I have prepared a little song, so I want you to listen carefully to these words. My sheep know my voice and the path that I take. They follow wherever I go. My sheep know my voice and come at my call, but a stranger's voice do they not know. My sheep know my voice and dare orphan. His mother died. And so she needs special help to be guided. So as we pray today, let's remember who the shepherd is and that that shepherd calls all of us to follow. Let's offer our prayers and our petitions. We ask God to hear us. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be enthusiastic in spreading God's word to all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders do not block the spread of the gospel in their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who have never heard about God and God's love for them may be reached. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring others to know about God, through the example of our lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Martin Cruzian, Monsignor Charles Lang, 
the attendants of this Mass may find everlasting peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my gifts and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings from your church, as you have given her cause for great gladness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But at this time, above all, during the Easter season, Christ never ceases to offer himself for us. He is the shepherd who calls us to himself. He is the sacrificial lamb who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land and every people exults in your praise as we sing and acclaim. Mm -hmm. 